Okay, the final whistle has just gone in the Ireland Scotland game. Uh, the first game of this weekend, Six Nations. Uh, it's 28-8 to, to Ireland. Stockdale got two tries. Murray and Croning got the other two for Ireland. Kinghorn was the only try in response for Scotland. Key areas where, where it went wrong. Finn Russell gives you yet another interception pass. So my criticism is backed up now. So people who are having a go saying you can't criticise him, blah, 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 he's a great player. Okay, um, if you're giving away interception passes, um, that result in tries um, in 50% of the games you play, you're not going to win those games. Uh, the poor accuracy throughout Scotland's back line. They butchered several opportunities. Uh, the best one was Hugh Jones uh, with Hogg in support. Hogg's too far away. He should be closer to his shoulder to give the pass. Um, so he has to throw a more complicated, difficult pass. He doesn't go to hand. I don't get the ball back. Ringrose marshaled Hugh Jones very, very well and did a number on him today. Um, Hugh Jones... Showed a little bit of his, his raw talent, but also his raw experience. Um, Hugh Jones and Stuart Hogg were Scotland's best players, um, but they didn't play well enough. Um, the poor accuracy, chronic. Kinghorn Strike was the only time they got their accuracy right going right on the right hand side, otherwise, it was not good enough. Passing out of hand to the right, that's where their problem is when they're passing to the right hand side. Passing left, they're fine. Um, if the attack's going down the right-hand side, you know the accuracy's got to be better. And you can probably tell they're not going to score a try. Um, that's where the try came from, mind. But that's when they finally got the passing shoulders, the, 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 the line-up of the backs, right. Uh, the line-out was poor by both sides. To be fair, the set play wasn't great, although Ireland did improve in the second half. Scotland's line-out was hit and miss. Um, and, of course, they didn't stop Ireland getting the bonus point score either. So Ireland are in the driving seat for a grand slam. England have to pull something out of the hat against France, which I don't. Think. I don't know. It depends. A. What French team turns up. B. What England team turns up. It could be a cracker, or it could be the most stodgy penalty-ridden affair of the lot. Um, so we will have to see on this. Uh, if England play like they did against Scotland in the last round, they don't win. Uh, if France um, play that unpredictable best, it could be an end-to-end high-scoring game, which could be very, very interesting. Um, Ireland in the prime position for a Grand Slam. Um, everyone played well. Uh, there was a, the odd error here or there by the odd player, but they redeemed themselves. Um, that was chugging along. Uh, Ireland have put themselves in the pole, pole position. Scotland are showing bits of promise, but their accuracy is too poor. It's not it's just not there. And uh, Finn Russell did, did that another pass intercept, which led to a try. So when you're passing straight into the hands of the opposition back, it's, uh, yeah. Did it against Wales in the first game? Does get up to Ireland, and the score lines were very similar. Um, so, it, it it's international rugby suicide. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. England France about to start, and I'll have a review for that on the trusty iPad, which I'm going to put on charge because I, for some reason my webcam doesn't like low light, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.